which I now know is a flesh and blood of the stranger. I got out as fast as I could. What it do, baby? Back again with another reaction. We have the real Chuck E. Cheese by Mr. Creepy Pasta. This is some scary, creepy Chuck E. Cheese stuff. You feel me? Chuck E. Cheese is actually creepy in real life. I ain't gonna cap. The actual animal mascot thing is fucked off. Just bad. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for uh the real Chuck E. Cheese and for shopinternetcity.com. Because what's over there, Aaron? Merch. Merch. Go get that. Uh, this lovely person right here popped up on the screen actually got the merch. Right. So join them in the merch escapades and go to shop right. and go get that. Let's get into the video. Baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we get creepy, creepy. I like where this is going. Have you ever thought there was something that the creators of Chuck E. Cheese were hiding from us all? No. Have you ever found Actually, something yes. to be off about the place? Not really. Even the creepy robotic mascots that danced on stage. Hell yeah. I didn't until Before I found I out even, the truth about Chuck E. Cheese. Why did you find out about Five Nights at Freddy? Nigga, Chuck E. Cheese, was, like, I had several birthdays there. It was That don't mean shit. It was still creepy. No. You had never walked up to the Elmo Tronics and they were just in there. Deep down. You knew. You smoke cocaine, sir. I might have. It all began on the first time I had ever visited the place. I was around the age. Medical steroids, my guy. Did a little something to my brain. Wasn't supposed to. <laughs> it was just for my sinuses, but. And my uh, asthma. But it did a little something. It was a little bit slow. That too. It was a slow word. I can't say the wrong word. <laughs> Say it, Aaron. <laughs> nah, cancel culture. <laughs> All right. But then. shout out to cancel culture, because fuck you niggas. Bitch. Cancel culture is going to come for us at one point in time, and I want them to see this video saying, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Now, let's get back to this. Age of five or six, so I, of course, was pretty ecstatic to go. Look at Seeing those all those things. commercials of kids eating pizza and running around Man, without a oh, care in the world. And the arcade games and... On the play structure. Made me almost get down on my hands and knees to plead and beg my mom oh. to take me. Oh, okay. After finally getting her to break, she took me. I was the happiest kid in the world. My mom drove me over just a few hours before evening, so okay. maybe yeah. around 4.30 or so. Okay. I almost knocked over the woman at the door who gave you the little stamp on your hand yeah. and running ahead of my mom bursting through those doors like a maniac child. Eventually, I was stamped and literally screeching as I ran around to all the games and play sets. After a bit, I stumbled on over to a game, like whack-a-mole, but with sharks. Could never win right shit by yet. that staff-only room. One shark whacking minute later, I'd won the game. And before I could squeal in success and collect my tickets, my ears caught the sound of something very strange going on near the staff only room. Oh, shit. I could hear someone say, test number 15 on mutated rat results in angered behavior, such as throwing desk and scientist at the wall. I then began oh, to wonder what? what in the world they could be talking about. Maybe they were making a new game. Being so young, I had no idea at all what was actually going on in there. So being curious and feeling a bit interested, I pressed myself against the door and listened in as carefully as a six-year-old could. I could hear them snapping at each other. Things like, What are we going to do with the beast? And get it away from me! The beast? A mumbled shout poured over whoever was in there and replied with a louder, We can't just kill that thing! The talking stopped. I blinked for a second and pressed myself closer on the door. I realized that this was a very bad mistake as the door opened from my weight against it. I slipped in, going from leaning on the door Damn. to falling Damn. face flat on the ground of the staff room. Immediately, footsteps trampled over to me, hands grabbed at my arms. I was out like a light in a few seconds. Oh, they beat that <laughs> and still, I don't know what the hell they did to do that. I woke up slowly, my eyes feeling heavy. They slapped this nigga so fast, he don't even remember the punch. <laughs> this nigga hit the ground. Soup. <laughs> they slapped this nigga quick. 
almost killed that nigga, bro. You know how hard you gotta hit a six year old to make him forget? That's a six year old. You know how hard you gotta hit a six year old to make him forget? Pretty damn hard, oh, my nigga. To sleep him within an instant of it. He didn't even get to scan the room. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Not only did they hit that nigga so hard, he forgot the hit. He forgot it. He forgot it. Uh, uh, Listen, I don't I even know, know how, how they, they did, did it. Nigga, they hit you quick. They fucking did it. A tall man with a serious expression wearing the cleanest white lab coat I'd ever seen began walking towards me out of the blue. Like he knew I'd be awake. Like he knew I was awake. His voice was deep. He knew how long he was going to be out. And it was scratchy from what I could tell. And he began to speak. You know. You know, don't you? You know, he said. Maybe you do know, maybe you don't. I was a six-year-old half knocked out at a Chuck E. Cheese, so I didn't know (laughs) what they expected from me. I babbled for a second, letting my tongue function correctly. What? I replied dumbly, blinking lazily. He grabbed my arm, making the static feeling intensify somehow. He pulled me a bit, making me whine, though I quickly shut I'm my toddler this, this trap when a loud dream. banging. When the door echoed throughout the room, naturally me being so young and clueless, I screamed, thrashing around. The man let go of me and snapped at me to shut my mouth. Forgetting about almost everything, I thrashed around some more. Slipping out of my chair, I kicked my legs going into the corner of the room. I screamed again, banging my foot against something, making a loud metal clang against my foot. I twisted around and whined down at an air vent. I kicked it again out of scared, hot anger. With another loud scream and clang, the metal front door popped off. Again, letting out a shriek when I heard the man stomping towards me out of the noise of clawing metal and banging. I scooted inside, spitting at him. I was scared half to death. I mean, what was I doing here? Where was my mom? He swiped at me for a second, but quickly pulled his hand back. There was another loud bang, and the man stepped back. Using my tiny little hands, I grabbed the air vent's door and pulled it back, pressing it on. Just in time, a piercing hiss was followed by a shout from the stranger and the loudest bang on the door. I clawed back, scooting back into the vent. I had to leave. Even being so young, I knew that I was in trouble. I hastily turned around with a bit of struggle, slowly crawling down the vent. A loud, manly scream echoed through the vent, being followed by more. They were in unison with the sound of cracking. Tear. Which I now know was flesh and bone. I got out as fast as I could. A small light was around the corner after a few minutes, and I stomped on it. The vent easily popped open. They really weren't paying attention to how tightly they were screwed on, were they? My feet stumbled as I climbed out, but were soon trampling to where I saw my mom last. She was still there with a worried expression on her face. I ran up to her, hugged her tight, my eyes now glazed with wet, hot tears. I wanted to go home. I just wanted to go home. I want to go home, I whined and complained. My mom gave me a strange look, but put a finger on my cheek. You must be tired, sweetheart, she cooed, picking me up. I clenched my small fist, holding tightly onto her shirt. We walked out of the building, me being oh so lovingly carried to the car. A distant whir of sirens became louder and louder, and police cars pulled into the large parking lot and skidded to a halt in front of the once amazing and fun Chuck E. Cheese. My mother almost ran into the car and quickly buckled me into the car seat. A couple hours later, home and safe, that night, I walked out of my room to get some water before I went to bed. A habit of trying to procrastinate so I didn't have to sleep. And my mother was watching the news. Oh, shit. The reporter talking about some... some kind of mutated rat coming out of Chuck E. Cheese and disappearing down the alleyway. I told you. Disappearing down the alleyway, nigga? He loose. So what happened to the real Chuck E. Cheese? Let me get loose. God only knows. But I will never, and I repeat, never 
go into any damn Chuck E. Cheese for as long as I live. Chuck E. Cheese out there. And I know never to spy on the staff. You, you know, mind the business that pays you. All right. That's a lesson in life. Mind your goddamn business. And you won't be fighting for your life against a goddamn mutated rat in the side. And stop. So that means stop asking me motherfucking questions, bitch. You know what the fuck I want to ask. You know, come here, nigga. Where your mom at, nigga? Where your grandma stay? Where your people stay, nigga? Where you from? Hey, 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 where you from? Nigga, what you talking about? You know, we from we from Internet City, cuz. You from Internet City, cuz. You know you go you know where you go to find out more about Internet City, cuz? Internetcity.com. Exactly. You feel me? Get some merch. You feel me? Just like this lovely person here who was also at the beginning of the video. So yeah, that's gonna do it, you guys. If you real, what it do, crew? And you made it this far, go ahead and comment where your mom at. Where your, your mom at? What is that video even about? Where your mom at, nigga? Are you gonna explain the TikTok? Where your mom at, nigga? Where your mom at, nigga? That's gonna do it, y'all. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace, Peace out. out.